Well, that was a short intro, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> and then go straight straight into a demo. Fantastic. Anyway, hello and welcome. I'm Bio, and today we're starting Sky a completely brand new set. And this completely brand new set is all about Midas. Now, we've had a look at Midas games in the past. The Midas games in question that we have had a look at were all exclusive to the PlayStation 1. So we're having another look at Midas Entertainment, and we're now looking at PlayStation 2 games. Now, there is a lot of PlayStation 2 games they've done. So I've handpicked six games that caught my attention the most and have added them to the list. Starting with Sky Surfer, uh, a game developed by Toka, obviously published by Midas, and released in July 6, 2001. It came out in Japan originally in 2000. And obviously, as it being a Midas game, it only got released in Europe outside of Japan. So it's going to be curious because Midas, I've always found, have been hit or miss with their game releases. For the PlayStation 1, it was a different story. Generally speaking, most of them were misses, but you had the odd game that was like San, Ve San Vane, which was good. The odd game. But it'll be interesting to see what that is with the PS2. So whether or not we uh, got six great games to look forward to or, or, or six garbage games. We'll just have to wait and see. So this one, I think, some kind of weird ski snowboarding kind of game. So it's going to be interesting. So we have a demonstration. Maybe demonstration would be a good idea to kind of show me how exactly it works. Also, G-Shock -G seems to be on this. Dive to air. For whatever reason. All right, so... Okay, so you do like a combo and you spin in the air before, before landing. Or is it literally just your is this all you're doing? My god. Is this the entire game where basically you get dropped from a helicopter and you're just doing tricks in the air? within the timer. Is that how this game honestly works? Because that's very basic. Like, if this was, like, a main factor of, like, giving you some stat boosts or something before you land on the snow, it'd be a cool little thing. Obviously, I wouldn't say any longer than 60 seconds. And then, you obviously, it was just a normal snowboarding game. I think it would be an interesting addition to basically give you some, like, boosts before you do snowboarding. So if you perform badly here, you're, it's going to be harder for you to do the snowboarding tricks because you're not going to get as much speed or whatever. So I think that'd be an interesting concept, but it looks like this entire game is just doing tricks. Look at her go. She's going for it in the air. Very good style. It's lovely that we're obviously we're going through layers of cloud and obviously but having the f scre screen fade every now and then like every what five seconds the screen fades it's not great all right is she gonna land now all right and is that really it is that really the entire game Holy moly, why, Midas? Sky Surfer. Why, Midas? You see Conspiracy Entertainment there. Conspiracy Entertainment have something to do with the game, but they're not the ones that published it. This was published under the Midas Gold label. You know, the if you don't remember, the Midas Gold, where it had this, like, white outline around the box with then a black bar at the bottom with Midas Gold. Like, it was supposed to be, like, some kind of, like, great gleam. All right, we'll try all three of these modes. Let's do the dive to air. Now, who do we have? We have Germany, America. Fantastic. I didn't realize these people were literally called the names of countries. Japan and France. Well, let's do, let's do Japan. Let's play as Japan, right? 
balance speed. Let's do like one that's even in between both. And he uses oxygen snowboards, by the way, which is like a uh, like an actual brand of snowboards, which is interesting. Oh, so there's like different levels, but it depends. Okay, we'll do practice mode, right? And see how we get on with this game. I, I have a feeling this is not going to be great. Just... Dive to air. Right, we're out of the plane, so... My God. So how do we spin then? Do we have to keep tapping that? My God. No, I'm trying to figure out. I don't really understand what, like... So how do we spin? What's, what's the... When they were spinning, what was that about? Okay, here we go. You just go fast. My God. Apparently that was bad. Okay. So basically, so you've got to get a combo. Oh, this is weird. This is just weird. a good style one. At least I kind of know how it works now. So, Alright, now we've got to open our parachute. Your mission. Go for each checkpoint balloon and then land on the on the land point. Oh, and oh, so now we're moving into a different gameplay style. Okay. Oh. Oh my god, this is... Oh, this controls horribly. <laughs> what even... Who is... Wh where am I going? What... Who, Where am I going? Oh my god, who made this control this way? Oh my word. Where even are okay. Alright. I think we're gonna just unfortunately land here. Oh my god. Yeah, we've landed. Oh my god, this game is fucking horrible. <laughs> All right, I'll try and explain exactly what this fucking weirdness is. What a weird game. I guess, uh, you know, early PlayStation 2 era was fair enough trying different kind of games. Fair enough. But fuck me, is it weird. So basically, you sail through the air all the while... All the while, you've got to put in like a button combination... Once you've put the button combination in, you've got to use, use the right analog stick to spin yourself around, right? Again and again and again, as, as many times as possible to get the style points. Now, when you finish your trick, right, you might not be balanced, and that's where you use the left analog sticks to balance yourself. Where I personally would say it would be better to have the left analog stick be the one to spin you and have the balance be dictated by, like, the L... 1, R, L2, R1, R2 buttons instead, I think that would actually be better because they're just not doing anything at all in that gameplay segment. And then you're going into a parachute mode, which you would assume simply just moving the right analog stick left to right would move you. So no, 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 no. Pressing like up and down move on the analog stick controls what direction you're going in but then that doesn't it doesn't always work that way because then you have to use the right analog stick to also help turn you as well in other words it controls like shit so yeah not not great there is a versus mode funny enough in this game i don't know how that would exactly work but 
you know, I'm not going to question it. Well, let's try this beep balloon mode, and let's go as uh, America this time around. I, I don't know. It's like... Probably still best to just stick with the balance, really. Uh, give me city. City would be interesting. This true city. So I'm guessing this is the balloon mode. So it has two different gameplay styles in the game. But I still don't understand. It's such a weird... Oh my god, where am I? What is this? Go for the blue balloons. Good luck. Oh no, this is not the parachute mode. Ready. Now we're in whatever this is. Go. Yes. Yes. It, oh god, yes. But, oh yes. Oh yeah, it controls horribly. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I am managing, though, somehow. Where's the other balloons? Oh, they're up here. How can you expect that? The game controls horribly, developer. It controls horribly. You can't... It just controls horribly. How can you say, oh, yeah, well, you know, I'm going to give you 22 seconds just for you to just struggle immensely with getting the balloons because it just the game controls horribly oh at least these two are right next to each other there we go luckily they were right next to each other oh my god yeah i'm i'm i'm, I'm not interested in stage two to be honest I'm not interested in stage two at all. All right, I don't mind. We'll give the the, the normal mode. New sports, Sky Surfer. And we'll do Germany this time. We'll go with a different one. We'll go with like one that's got better balance. And I don't know. We'll do normal. Why not? We're gonna, we're gonna fail it. We're gonna fail anyway, so we might as well. But yeah, so it's it. The game has like three different modes, and I don't know why they chose to have the game control like this. It just doesn't control well. Spin to win. Very good style. Very good style there. Oh no. What? I lost control, apparently. So you're telling me I died? I lost control. Oh, I, I, I can't. I can't play any more of this. It's just fucking horrible. Horrible game. All right, I, I'll, I'll tell you where the game fails. It's the controls. They don't make sense. They are just not intuitive. They're not what you'd expect the controls to be. They're just horrible, horrible controls. And in this type of game, the controls are what make the difference. They are what matters most. And by the way, Game of Accused has this put down as a ski snowboarding game. That It's not, it's not even that, it's its own thing. I'd say miscellaneous, sports individual miscellaneous would be a better way to describe it. New sport. New sport, Sky, Sky Surfer. That gets old very, very quickly as well. So yeah, so I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to say I don't recommend this. It's not a good game. Not good at all. Um, hopefully this is not indicative of what we are to expect from Midas going forward. But the, le the start is not great. Anyway, I've been Bio. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.